Joining us now on MSUEagles.com is the head men's basketball coach at Moorhead State, Sean Woods. We are in Franklin, Tennessee today at the Embassy Suites Hotel, and the reason is Ohio Valley Conference preseason basketball media day. Coach, thanks for your time, and just wanted to catch up with you. We spoke to you on camera a few weeks ago uh, heading into preseason practice. You guys have been at it for a couple of weeks. Just your thoughts uh, in the early going here as far as the workouts are concerned. Well, workouts are going good. The one thing I like about our team is the effort and the energy that they're bringing every day. And because it's new, it's going to take us a little bit to jail and then to figure out how to play, especially our style of play, which is very, very fast, without making a lot of mistakes. So it's going to take a little bit. The talent's there. We got all the pieces. But it's going to take us a little bit to jail and actually get things to run like a fine oil machine. You talked about that all-important chemistry and the team gelling. Are there specific things you're doing in practice or in meetings to try to get the guys up to speed with each other as soon as possible? Well, we, we, we're scrimmaging a lot more. Not only are we just doing drills and, and doing the fundamental things, but we're, getting them, we're trying to get them used to playing with each other and playing fast and making the right play and actually sharing the basketball. And that's been a little, a, a little uh, deal for us, but they're getting better every day. That's why I feel good because every day we're getting better. I know you don't like to tip your hand in terms of X's and O's, but you talk about a, a fast-paced style. Just talk about maybe in general terms some of the things you're hoping to implement this year, both on offense and defense. Well, just putting pressure on the opposing team on both ends of the court. Uh, defensively, we want to get after it. Uh, and offensively, we want to push it right back at them, keep them on their heels all the time. And You know, our point guard situation has got to get a little better, but it's getting better day by day. So hopefully by mid-January mid or so, we'll be, everything will be clicking. Obviously, all five starting spots are up for grabs right now. I know you've told some people you feel pretty confident about four out of the other five, uh, or four out of the five positions, uh, with the point guard spot kind of being up in the air. Just talk about that competition and how things are going at that position. Well, you know, uh, Devon Atkinson is, is one of the guys, and also Tariq Muhammad, and they're battling out, you know, and it's going to come to the end to see who, which one who is going to be which. But I think that position, the starting spot, is going to be part of you know committee deal you know throughout the season so you know we're just working hard no no position is really set in stone right, right now so right. that's the beauty of it you've got a lot of depth up and down the roster at all positions talk a little bit about the post players and how some of those guys are coming along well I'll tell you what Jason Holmes who we brought from Mississippi Valley has gotten back health and he's really really looking good uh, um, um, Chad Patham is, is getting much better he's getting picking up the pace and getting used to our speed and then Khalil Owens was really playing well until he got hurt, had a little hip injury. So we're hopefully we can get him back within the next couple of days. Just talk a little bit about the atmosphere here. We're visiting with Sean Woods, the head men's basketball coach in Moorhead State. Just talk a little bit about the atmosphere at a conference event like this. It's your first OVC basketball media day. You were telling me, obviously, that the coaching circles are a fraternity. You guys are recruiting. You're in gyms with each other. You've run across a lot of these guys uh, when you were in other conferences with other schools. But just talk about maybe an opportunity to kind of, in a relaxed atmosphere, see some of your friends and some of the people you'll be competing against this year. Well, this is the first time I've got to see all of them at one time since I've gotten the job. And you know, all of them are good guys, and we look forward to, to, to competing with each other. And all of them are congratu con congratulating me on getting the job. So it, it's been pretty peaceful and pretty exciting thus far. And everybody's undefeated at this point, right? So, so, no doubt about it. No <laughs> doubt about everybody's it. Everybody's feeling good. Coach wanted to hit a couple upcoming events uh, for the fans. Uh, this Thursday is Moorhead Hysteria, the Thursday leading into homecoming weekend. I know you're excited about that. And then you said you've got an open scrimmage, I believe, on Saturday around the football game. Yes, is that right? Yes, we're going to do that. And then we got a closed scrimmage against uh, uh, Northern Kentucky on Sunday. But, you know, the, 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 the Moorhead Hysteria is something that I'm trying to get the fans excited about because we want to make Moorhead State the toughest place in the conference to play, day in and day out. So that's my goal. So we're trying to reach out to everyone who comes back for homecoming, let them know the excitement that's going on with our basketball team. Not only that, but seize the sizzle and sell the sizzle to the students also. I know there are a lot of steps and a lot of things you have to do before the opening weekend of the regular season, but a very challenging situation, a part of a doubleheader at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Your team will face Long Island, and then you take on ACC foe Maryland that Monday. Just talk about that opening weekend of the season and the true beginning of the Sean Woods era. At well, State. that's why we've been going at it full force, and it's been a crash course for these guys because we don't have any cupcakes at the beginning of the season. We start off with two tough games. So we got to be ready mentally. You know, we, we may not gel, but we got to play hard enough and actually smart enough to actually get get by until everything starts to click. 
Well, Sean, Sean, we appreciate your time today. Best of luck with the rest of the preseason, and we'll be talking to you again soon. Thank you. Sean Woods, the head men's basketball coach at Moorhead State. Stay tuned to MSUEagles.com for more on the Eagles leading up to the 2012-2013 season.